up so last week I promised you guys that I would do a demonstration of this golden a6 guitar that was generously gifted to me from my uncle um, well here it is uh, that's what it sounds like when it's not plugged in now we'll plug it in and um, I'll play some stuff on it for you and um, I don't know, see what you think about it. Yo, what's up? So yeah, I was supposed to be recording today and uh, it's been canceled. Um, it's okay. That said, I thought I would take this time to uh, show you my 1965 Vox AC30 Top Boost Amp. I'm going to give a quick overview and maybe some sound examples so you can get an idea of what's uh, how it sounds and stuff like that. I was going to use it today, but there's always next week. That said, have I ever mentioned that if you buy a home and it has a super large deck, 
that you will have to do the maintenance on that deck. As a matter of fact, you might have to paint it like every year and it is a complete pain. I mean, uh, this deck was built by the Mayans in like 532 BC. It's one of the seven wonders of the world. It takes multiple gallons of paint and uh, you know you've got basically the pyramids, Stonehenge, um, the Easter Island heads, uh, the Great Wall of China, and this thing. Okay. This is the front, obviously. As you can see, the grill cloth is kind of sunk in on these speakers. That's just from age. Uh, as of right now, there's no holes or anything, so so we're that's okay. We uh, that's that's fine. Here's the logo here. A lot of the gold's coming off of it. It's okay. Got a little something there, but oh well. And then up on here on the top, you got these rubber straps, uh, and of course the infamous tiny, tiny vents for the whole entire amp. This is why these amps get so hot. It's because there is no other ventilation except for these little bitty vents. Um, if we turned it on, I might be able to let you see a glimpse of the tubes in there. Um, oh, and there they are. And this is all the ventilation that those tubes have. It is not an ideal design. It really isn't. So, this is the foot switch, which kind of uh, moon rockish, in my opinion. Uh, it's for the trim and our vibe. So, very cool. Very, very cool. Uh, so, let's look at the back. All right, so here's the back, starting with the control panel. Let me move this. So you've got the vibe trim channel, two inputs, the normal channel, and the top boost, or as they like to call it, the brilliant channel. Here's the speed for the trim and vibrato. This is switches between the two. Vibe, trim, vibe, trim. Here is the volume for that channel the volume for the normal channel, and the volume for the brilliant channel. Uh, treble, bass, and cut. This cut knob is like what you would find on a modern Dr. Z amp. That's where they get it from, these old box amps. Power switch, indicator lamp, fuse, voltage selector. Back here, we see the Vox Amplifier Jennings Musical Industries LTD label, complete with the serial number and whatnot. And, of course, the original Vox Silver Celestians. These are Alnico, and uh, this is an EL84 amp. So, it's gonna have that kind of sound. Now, as far as the volume controls, we've kind of already got into that, but it goes from clean and chimey to full-on tone bender. Yo, so we made it to episode number 10, which may not seem like a great deal of episodes, but, you know, I'm a very busy guy. But, just want to say that there's lots of cool stuff that we have left to talk about, and, uh, you know, a lot more stuff to see. So, um, like this record collection. Let's see. We're just going to pull one and, and see what we pull out. Let's go with anything. Uh-oh. Boom. Trace Hombres. It's an excellent record collection. It really is. But until then, I'm going to go get something to eat and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.